How? How? I hate roaches so much. Let's get our network on. I said, which apartment are you picking up the keys for? And it was the apartment that I literally just showed you guys. Good morning, happy Sunday. Adriana here and welcome to another week of the vlog. It is about 11.30. Got home around 2.30 last night after just having a chill birthday celebration for Yasmin. If you're new to the vlog, Yasmin's my New York bestie and it was her 25th birthday yesterday. So we had a chill wine night. We were supposed to go out to a club, but she went too hard during the day. And honestly, it ended up being so much fun to just like chill and drink with all our friends and play games and just like be in each other's company. So yay getting older <laughs> and celebrating in different ways. Actually, speaking of birthdays, my birthday is in less than two months and I would love, 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 love to hit maybe like 3,000 subscribers by my birthday. I feel like that's doable. I'm at like 2.8 right now. So if you are watching and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and help me get to 3K by my birthday on November 28th. I am headed off to go pick up some bagel breakfast sandwiches and spend the day with the guy that I've been seeing. So we'll see how much I vlog today, but welcome to another week in my life. New mascara, I'm very excited. I get the Kush mascara from Milk. This stuff is amazing. I went all out and got a big one. Last time I just got the mini one because it is honestly kind of expensive mascara. This is $13, this was $25. But it's literally the only makeup that I wear daily. So I was like, I guess if I'm only spending money on one makeup product, might as well spend a little and use one that I know works so well. Cause are you ready for this? We'll do a little compare of the lashes. What a wonderful angle, I know. But look at my lashes. This is just one coat, nothing. One coat, nothing. This, I just love that it goes on like so smooth and it's not even like, I feel like Sometimes when you get a new mascara, it goes on like really wet and it's like too much. Just opened it and it went on perfectly. So now I'm gonna do my other eye. Like the brush is like the nice thick brush too. Love it. And just like that, we're ready for the day. It is very dark in here. It literally feels like it's like nighttime, but it's just really cloudy and dreary outside because it's supposed to rain today. Oh, I missed my Starbucks coffee. When I went home this weekend, we stopped at BJ's and I got my K-cups. So now I can have my hot coffee in the morning and then I'll have my Javi iced coffee in the afternoon. <laughs> you can see the box right there. What a day. Mondays are Orange Theory days. Literally I go three times in the day because I started with the work out there and now I have to go for the 12.15 class. And then I have to go back for the evening classes. But I love it. I love me some Orange Theory. And today is going to be a great day. So let's get it. I'm just trying to sit and enjoy my breakfast. There is some insane construction going on in the apartment next door. Please excuse the mess of clothes. Of course they stop the drilling once I pull out the camera. But I'm sure it'll come back. Now they're just hammering been going on for like 30 minutes. Here we go. And this is quiet. It's been getting louder too. <laughs> Thank God I have to go to work all day. 
and I don't have to sit here and listen to this. I mean, I wouldn't sit here and listen to this. I would go somewhere else, but I didn't even get any warning that this was gonna be happening. Like, I feel like that's something they should like let you know, like let the surrounding apartments know. Cause like people still work from home. Like, can you imagine if I was like trying to take Zoom calls right now? Like that would not be okay. Anyway, gotta leave in 15 minutes, so maybe I'll just finish eating and leave early so I don't have to listen to this anymore because it's driving me insane. <sighs> May have started off rough with the construction next door, but guys, I just scored the only bike, and it's an e-bike, so it's free, so it's a great day. Got my Javi iced coffee in here. Ready to coach some classes. The construction is still happening next door. We have some chicken pot stickers with soy sauce for lunch, and I am watching YouTube, currently watching Emma Chamberlain. I have like an hour before I have to walk Zoe. My floor is literally shaking. Oh my god, what are they doing? This is so annoying. So I got a package and I went downstairs. Exciting stuff. Also, I found out that the drilling is below me. It's below and over one. They're demoing the bathroom. So um, I'm hoping, I asked if he thinks it's gonna continue into tomorrow because Tomorrow I was planning on being home and doing some content stuff where I would not like to have to deal with doing it between drilling sounds, so we shall see. But guys, are you ready for this? This is my exciting purchase from Amazon. See that? Captures mice and insects. Because I am sick of the cockroaches and having to trap them. And there was one the other day that was too fast and I lost it and I never knew where it went. Haven't seen it since, but it's definitely still around here. It went somewhere down into another apartment or something and I don't like it. So this might make it worse because now if it traps them, I'll actually know how many cockroaches go through my apartment. <sighs> but we shall see. I think I know exactly where they come out and it's in my kitchen right underneath one of the cabinets because I've heard them drop down before. So fingers crossed this works. There's like a whole stack of them in here. So if it does, that'll be nice. It'll also be gross to dispose of, but better than finding them and having to figure out how to trap them and flush them. And <sighs> it's literally the worst part about this apartment are the roaches. Everything else is great. Roaches, I hate. This can catch mice. Better be able to catch these pesky little roaches. Okay, so I think it kind of like sits, yeah, it sits like this. Oh my God, they're just gonna get stuck to it. Now I'm like freaking out. I just think I hear them all the time. It's just like my floor making noise. This works. Come on, go in. The worst part is definitely gonna be like checking these. All right, this is where we're gonna put it. I always see them come in like, they like drop down right, right in here. So I think I'm gonna go like this. Ew, yeah. They definitely get in like, they get in from underneath the cabinet. Okay. I'm gonna set a couple up so that there's just like a row so that if they miss one, maybe they'll get trapped by the other. I have three traps there and then I also put one underneath my radiator
Let me know if that's a bad idea. I feel like it's fine because it's like an inch and a half away from touching the radiator and also the radiators aren't on yet. Oh my goodness. All the sirens. It's a fire truck. Yeah. Hope everyone's okay. Um, I'm very scared to have to actually check these traps and the day that there's just like a cockroach chilling in there. Whew, that's not gonna be fun, but hopefully it'll be better than them running around and trying to catch them. Yay. All right, time to walk the dog now. Zoe howling away. Such cutie. It's so misty out right now and I regret putting shorts on. Cause like it was humid earlier and now it's kind of cold. And we're back in the glowing orange lights for round two. Stop at the fruit stand that's kind of near here. I love apples. I feel like I do not get enough fruit in my life anymore, and that needs to change. Friends, look, look at me. We made a meal. Chicken, quinoa, some green beans. I have not like actually legitimately cooked in quite some time, and I'm so excited. I mean, it took forever, which is why I don't really like to cook. I mean, it didn't take that long. It took like some time, but I was FaceTiming the guy that I was seeing. I'm actually still FaceTiming him, but I'm not gonna show you him. Um, but just having a nice chill Monday evening and tomorrow we got stuff to do. So I'm gonna eat my dinner, probably watch some TV and head to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Time for a Trader Joe's haul. It's the lighting first. Um, also, they're still drilling downstairs, so uh, I'll do my best to not talk during the drilling, but it's kind of constant, so apologies ahead of time. First up from the fruit cart, three peppers, three apples, and one container of blackberries, and I spent $5. Now time for Trader Joe's. Spinach, bananas, honey owls, eggs, Carrots, big cuke, pasta, mushrooms, kale gnocchi, frozen mango, hummus, vanilla Greek yogurt, coconut, co coconut almond creamer that I'm about to use for my Javi iced coffee, two cans of black beans, two cans of kidney beans, smoked gouda, this pecan praline granola that I'm gonna try. It looked pretty good and it was less than $4. So we love that because most granola in the city is like seven to $8 for a bag like half this size. So we'll see how it is. And then of course, the pretzel bread. I am gonna lose my mind with this drilling. <laughs> Let's see, how much did we spend? $38.34, not too bad. Now it's time to Fetch Rewards it. And if you have not heard me talk about Fetch Rewards, it's an app where you scan every and any receipt and you get points and then you can get gift cards. Like this is how I pay for Starbucks. Sometimes I'll get Target gift cards. They have a plethora of options. And if you use my code, you get points. I think you get 2,000 points for signing up. I get points, so it's just like a win-win. And it's just like the easiest work. You can scan receipts from grocery stores, restaurants, clothing stores, gas stations, literally anywhere. So get that free money and use my code.
Oh, so good. Javi for the win. I kept having to remind myself not to get Starbucks because I'm like, I don't need to spend money on Starbucks or use a Fetch Rewards gift card on Starbucks because I have iced coffee at home. So delicious. Use my code and link in the description for some monies off some delicious iced coffee. It's breakfast time. We just got some over easy eggs. And a pretzel roll. Um, I don't know when my obsession for pretzel rolls began, but I do remember when I was a kid, whenever we would come to New York, I would always get a pretzel. I love pretzels. I don't know why, I just love pretzels. I just love pretzel bread because it's soft. Like, I love a good soft pretzel. Mm. So good. There was a minute there where Trader Joe's was gonna discontinue these, or they did discontinue them for like maybe a year or so, and I was crushed. And then one day I went into the store and they were there. My life was made. I don't have work. The only work is walking the dog later. Until then, I have some content that I need to make for a brand deal. We're going on an apartment tour for my sister, which it's like, actually looks like it's gonna be a nice apartment. It's a one bedroom. We're doing that at 12.30, then getting lunch with the guy I've been seeing, and then probably just more editing later. And then I'm going to a networking event tonight. Oh, who, who am I? Um, so I'm gonna go over Yasmin's coming to Yasmin, her roommate Jasmine, and my friend Joy are all going. So I'm gonna go over to Yasmin's to get ready and we'll all go together. Um, I don't really know what to expect. Should be interesting. Never been to a networking event like this before, but I, when we went to Jasmine's DJ set like two Fridays ago, we were down on another floor and we were at this place that it was like a members only club kind of thing and like a townhouse in the West Village that was like, you would never know there was like a club going on inside. <clears throat> and I met this guy and, and I was talking to him and he invited me to this networking event. So that's what we're doing and my friends are coming with and we're all gonna get our networking on and uh, I have no idea what's gonna come out of it, but it'll definitely be an interesting experience, for sure out of my comfort zone, but hey, that's what life is all about, putting yourself in situations that are like a little uncomfortable and um, growing from it. But that's the day, so got, got a lot to do, a lot of people to see, things to do, videos to make, so I will see you probably when we go for the apartment tour in a couple hours. Bye. I put out three, no, four roach traps yesterday. And guess where I found one? I won't show it, don't worry. But I'm over in my kitchen and I grab my freaking sponge. It's trapped in my sink because it fell down. But I find it literally right there, just chilling. Ew. How? How? I hate roaches so much. <laughs> this is literally the worst thing about this apartment. Everything else I love, the roaches. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna figure out how to dispose of this now, so see you later. The cockroach has been disposed of and it is now apartment tour time. Definitely a little sketchier of an area, but there is a city bike dock right on the end of the street. Open the window and just like, I'm sure there's like, that's yeah. Yeah. That's nice. 
When did they redo the kitchen? Was this all in the same reno that they're doing the bathroom? Yeah, right. <laughs> Good amount of storage though. That's yeah. actually, that's really nice. It's a cute little kitchen. Bathroom, let's see. Pretty spacious. Madison cabinet. Under storage. Oh, this one. That's gonna be finished. like a nice little pantry area kind of. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So much counter space. Guys, just spotted a star, a real estate star, sitting at 26th and Broadway, having some lunch. What's his name? Frederick, Frederick Eklund. Frederick Eklund. Million dollar listing, New York. Million dollar listing, New York. <gasps> just passed by. I'm here with, with the mans. <laughs> he yelled out, Frederick, you're awesome. And he said, you're awesome too. Ready? High five. <laughs> Pretty cool. That was my first star spotting in New York. I've seen him before. I'm on my walk with Zoe and I'm at Lincoln Center and they're taking down the stage and you want to know why that's amazing? Because that means we have a massive space where we get to run around again. But the weird thing is they took away all of the benches from the park. That, like this park, they normally have benches like all over. They took them away. I don't know. What do you think, so? Wait, wait, come here. Sniffing the trash. Sniffing the trash. <laughs> it's networking event time, friends. These are the fits. Yasmin's top. These pants that I got from H&M for when she walked in the fashion show. Hi. Yasmin's shoes. <laughs> Yasmin. Half my outfit is Yasmin's. <laughs> Jewelry, Zara necklace. Anna Luisa earrings. All right, Yaz, give them a show. Okay. Yeah, it does. So you've got Forever 21 bodysuit. Oliver. Forever 21 blazer. <laughs> Forever 21 heels. Yeah. TJ Maxx. Love it. Adriana. That's, that's Anna Luisa. Anna Luisa. My, these are my mom. These are actually gold. Oh, shit. Wait, give us a nice look at those. Oh. So if you want to wear silver, you can wear silver. If you want to wear gold, you can wear gold. Gorgeous. Love it. 
Also, Yasmin did my hair. She curled it. What do we think? What do we think? Mm, it's so cute. Right? I like it. I feel like a professional. We are professionals. We are professionals. <laughs> All right. Hire us as your personal trainers. <laughs> or as someone to make your um, I need push ups real to do in this. In that? Mm. Oh, I feel like you could definitely do a lot. You're in a jumpsuit. You're comfortable. Are you going to try it out? Oh, the yeah. jacket's coming yeah. off. Yeah, party. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, One. that form. Get Two. it, girl. Three. Show them how strong you are. <gasps> oh, my God, Oliver. <gasps> that Oliver. tail, Oliver. Almost whacking over the mirror. I know, it's all about you. It's really just all about you. It is time for us to head out. We're taking a shot before we leave to just loosen up, you know? Get ready. Chasing with some OJ. Do you need more? Yes. Okay, let's go. We're already late. Come on. ready to go. Let's get our network on. We've made it to the location. My hair location. is pretty much flat. Here we are, 412. 1412. 1412. LC rooftop. Wish us luck. Good morning. Happy Wednesday, friends. Let's pull you in closer. The event last night that I was freaking out about, I had a great time. I talked to so many people. We'll see if I get any personal training clients out of it. That's the angle that I was pushing. Got some numbers. Fingers crossed something comes of it. We shall see but it would be pretty nice because there's some good money in personal training and I have such a flexible schedule, it would fit in quite nicely. So we shall see. Today, I woke up too late to take the 8.15 class at work, so might go to another studio, might go to Upper West Side, or I'll just take the 12.15 class. We shall see, but yeah, chill morning while I figure out what I'm gonna do with my day until I have to walk the dog later and coach at Orange Theory tonight. But that's until three. So I, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with myself to have a productive day until 3 p.m. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Made up my mind. We're working out, headed to Upper West Side. Actually about to pass it to go park the city bike. There she is. BRB. It is breakfast time. Workout was so good. I'm back to running and it feels amazing. Today was a run row, so you go between the treadmills and the water rowers, and it was a 0.25 mile run, and then a 200 meter row, and then a 0.5 mile run, 300 meter row, 0.75 miles, 400 meter row, one mile, and then 500 meter row. And I got so close to finishing the one mile. I got to 0.8, and I was like pushing it. I did the first distance at 8.5 miles per hour, the second distance at 8.2 miles per hour, the third distance at eight, and then in the mile, I, was, I started at 7.8, and like by the halfway point, I picked it up, and then for like the last 90 seconds like when we got to the last 90 seconds i went up to nine miles per hour and then the last 30 seconds i did 10 miles per hour and oh it feels so good to be able to run again i'm i'm so happy if back in like june i kind of like messed up my knee running so i was taking it very easy i was using the bike instead of running for a while 
but we're back baby and I feel so good <sighs> so yeah and then I called my mom when I was walking home so that was nice so this is your reminder if you haven't called your mom or maybe your dad or a loved one any loved one give them a call just check in see how they're doing mm. eating eggs with my second pretzel bread for breakfast we got YouTube and content stuff to do that I actually need to do today because I didn't do any of it yesterday. So here's to a productive Wednesday. Yeah. Back at Lincoln Center with Miss Zoe. They're taking down like the actual stage now. It's going away. We're gonna have our running space back soon. Zoe's so following a dog. My sister found another apartment for us to go view. So we are headed there right now. And then I have work right after and it's perfect because I am very close to work now. Ooh, bathroom right when you walk in. Not bad, not bad. Got a medicine cabinet. Love that. Ooh, this is cute. Nice big sink, good amount of counter space. Love the glass cabinet doors you can see in. Ooh, ooh. Little mini stove. Refrigerator. A little more counter space, nice little coffee nook. Pretty small closet. You can see outside, that's fun. French doors, oh my God, are you kidding me? So cute, so cute. And then this is the living space. Not a bad amount of space. I'm the only one in here, but not a bad amount of space at all. Love the French doors. It is only on the second floor and it's across the street from like a little park. City bikes right across the street, so we love that. Honestly, this is kind of cute. Not a ton of storage for like clothes and stuff. This is the only closet, but like the kitchen's kind of a nice. Oh wait, no, there's another closet. Okay, all right. Two closets. Not bad. Clean. High ceilings. Decent light. I have no idea how much this one's renting for. I'll, I'll put it down here when I edit, but good contender. Oh my God, guys. I walked outside on FaceTime with my sister after showing her the apartment. This girl and her mom come up and they're talking to the realtor saying like they're coming to pick up the keys. And he was like, oh, we're still showing the apartment. And I said, which apartment are you picking up the keys for? And it was the apartment that I literally just showed you guys. So my sister's like, should I apply? And I was like, yeah, not anymore. Talk about, this is, this is how crazy it is trying to move into New York right now. Wild. And we're in the glowing orange lights. Turn this off. Woo. What an afternoon, friends. I am sweating. That was absolutely wild. Like that is what it's been like trying to find apartments for my sister. Like everything just goes so freaking fast. So just wait for the next uh, apartment viewing. So I hope you guys are enjoying all these apartment tours because like I'm certainly having fun. She's for sure stressing out because she's been looking for apartments like for the past two and a half, three months um, and has this shit happening all the time. So. We'll see. Maybe there'll be another apartment tour tomorrow. Who knows? Time to coach some classes. Well, and we're home. Classes went wonderfully. Honestly, it was a fun template today. Well, actually it was a really easy template to coach. It was a fun workout, a fun and challenging workout. Um, yeah, it's like just after eight, so I'm just gonna eat some food chill watch tv and go to bed because we have a lot to do tomorrow 
I was thinking I was gonna go and like finally take a ballet class because if you didn't know I grew up a dancer I literally danced from like out of the womb until like a year and a half after college and I was like a hardcore bunhead for a while there but I just kind of like got burnt out and fell out of love with it but lately I've been like kind of missing it and kind of like I just want to go and take a dance like a ballet class just to like because I feel like ballet is like yoga to me like it's very meditative but I said I would cover the 1215 class at work and this ballet class is in the morning and I just don't know if I'm gonna have time and like still not be stressed out because I have like a lot of content that I need to do for brand deals that I keep putting off because it's been like really gloomy and cloudy and just like not the best lighting. <laughs> I know that's a bad reason, but so that's what I have to do tomorrow. So we'll see, I might go take class. I might not, I might save it for next Thursday, but um, we'll see what I do in the morning. So see you guys then. Some mornings it is just a cereal for breakfast kind of day. Oh no. I have more. It just is not refrigerated. Maybe the cold mixed with the not refrigerated will be okay. Maybe it won't be so bad. People drink like fresh warm milk, right? Is that a thing? I guess we're about to find out. So I've decided I'm not gonna go take ballet. Also, it would have started, I think, four minutes ago. Um, because my legs are so sore already, and I remembered that I'm taking class tomorrow because Yasmin is training to be a coach at Orange Theory, and so she's doing employee classes so she can practice coaching, so that by the time she goes to regional training, she just like crushes it and passes and does a great job, and can be an Orange Theory coach. But so she's doing one of those classes tomorrow, so I'm taking that, and then a member at Orange Theory has been trying to get me to go and try Barry's for the longest time, Barry's Boot Camp. It's another like fitness boutique style workout. Um, and I told her that I would do Friday night, so I have to do two high intensity workouts tomorrow. I mean, I don't have to go to Yasmin's, but I missed the first one she did last Friday because I went home for the Jonas Brothers concert. So I'm like, I want to be there and I want to support her. So I'm going to go easy in the afternoon class with her so I can like go for berries. But basically, I'm not going to be able to walk this weekend. That's that's what I'm gathering from all this. So we're not doing ballet today. We'll save it for next week. So I was sitting and editing this week's vlog. And then I got a calendar reminder that I'm going to see another apartment before coaching. So uh, we're gonna head out now and go see another apartment for my sister that hopefully does not get rented in the time that we're there. This apartment search has been absolutely insane, guys. Like, I'm so happy that I'm not trying to move right now. That's all I can say. Um, Let's go check out this apartment. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's nice. Guys, I finally need sunglasses. I mean, I'm under scaffolding right now, so you can't tell, but it's a beautiful day. Here we are. Love the refrigerator right as you walk in. Decent sized closet. And then this is the apartment. Love the natural light bathroom over here. Looks like the bathroom we saw yesterday. Look at that. Let's see, is this a medicine cabinet? It is. Under storage, but definitely very weird that the refrigerator 
is over there and the kitchen. is over here. Who's gonna wanna walk that far for food to the kitchen? Refrigerator, kitchen. Not a ton of space, but at least you got some nice natural light. I would forever just sit here while I'm cooking. So that's nice, but I mean, it seems like newer-ish appliances. Nothing amazing. Well, I think that one's gonna be a no. Just like, not great, which is unfortunate because it's like a nice kind of quiet street. But the refrigerator to kitchen distance was just very weird. Um, yeah. Well, off to coach. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I don't normally coach on Thursdays. I'm just subbing the afternoon class because you know, gotta get them money. So see you in the glowing orange lights. Okay, I realized I forgot to film anything at Orange Theory, but class went great. It's a nice, small, but fun, good energy class. Um, and it's a beautiful day outside. But guys, I'm city biking home, obviously, as I always do. Look at this poor bike. It still works great though, but it's had a rough day. Okay, I have like 15 minutes. Nope. 11, nope, that's wrong. Like 13 minutes before I have to go walk Zoe and I am starving. So we're gonna throw together a little wrap. Got some stone ground mustard, gonna put some spinach. It's not gonna be the most fun. If I had been smart and pre-chopped a bunch of stuff the other day, I would have been in a much better place to do this. But why is this frozen? Oh no, is my chicken frozen? I hope not. Interesting. Okay. So I've got leftover chicken from the other night that we're literally just gonna peel apart. Chicken's not frozen, we're good. Just gonna put some mushrooms in. I wish I had like cooked them or something, but we don't have time for that. So raw mushrooms it is. Just gonna quickly chop up some pepper because that will round out the flavor quite nicely. Sorry, it's so dark. Don't have time to fix it right now. So setting a mood. Oh, there we go. Fixed itself. Just some nice little pepper slivers. Add to the flavor profile. Honestly, this is probably gonna be pretty good. It would be better if the mushrooms were cooked, but this is definitely gonna be too full. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see if it'll close. Maybe it'll be an open-faced wrap. Maybe it'll be just like a taco. There we go, it's a taco. <laughs> Big chicken taco. How'd we do? Let's see. Definitely would have been better had the mushrooms been cooked, but honestly, it's pretty good. All right, go me. I'll see you on the dog walk. Guys, I just spent the last like two hours here at Yasmin's in her lovely living room because she has amazing lighting with these windows here. And I just made some tiki takis and she took some pictures for me. So much Oliver for all under me, hello. <laughs> and now she's going to Orange Theory to work out. Speaking of Oliver. Oliver, oh. say hello to the vlog. All right, he's done. And uh, I'm going to meet up with the guy that I've been seeing and we're gonna go with some drinks and then we're going back to my apartment and we're gonna make dinner together. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like vomit. <laughs> it's dinner time, friends. This is what it's looking like. About to go in the oven once we finish seasoning the top. Um, Anna, I hope we do well by you on our 
baking cooking abilities because I don't have the highest hopes. We'll check back in about an hour. All right, friends. It is time to see how we did. All cooked. Let's see if we did good by Anna. I'm saying if we did good by Anna because she made me this chicken meal. She didn't do the squash, but she did this chicken dish when she was visiting me a couple weeks ago. So I got the recipe from her. So thank you, Anna. Let's see. Definitely cooked the chicken a little too long, but the flavor, mm, so good. Are you gonna try yours and tell me what you think of the flavor? Definitely cooked the chicken too long. So good. Is it so good or is it so good? It's so good. <laughs> A little dry though, right? No, it's perfect. <laughs> well, thanks for coming to our attempt at cooking. Baking? I think this would be considered baking because we didn't cook anything. It was all in the oven. Bon appetit. I hope you are all eating a delicious meal as well. And I will see you guys in the morning. Oh, my breakfast is blocking the way. Look where we stopped. You know it. Those wake up wraps. Did I download a Dunkin' app yet? No. Will I ever? We shall see. Um, if you haven't been watching the vlog or are new to the vlog, I've been getting these like the past couple Fridays for breakfast in the morning. So I've just been waking up so hungry. And this is the only thing, this is the easiest thing to get. And it's like $3 for two sausage, egg and cheese wake up wraps or $2 for just egg and cheese. Ooh, yummy. So. Time to coach some classes. We got a busy day. Coaching classes, gonna go edit, and then have Yasmin's employee class. And then I gotta walk the dog. And then I'm going to Barry's boot camp tonight. Whoo, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. I also think I'm going out tonight, so. Maybe we'll throw in a nap somewhere, but knowing me, probably not. So let's get started. Just stopped at Matau, Matau for some coffee. I got an oat milk latte. And now I'm headed to Bryant Park to sit outside and do some editing. I'm gonna walk this way. Yeah. I made it to Bryant Park. Guys, I totally forgot they're setting up the winter market. Someone did mention that in one of my comments in the vlog last week, I think. But it's happening! I'm so excited! Figured it is a beautiful day out and I need to enjoy this nice weather while we have it. So I'm gonna chill here and edit until I go to take Yasmin's class later. Though undecided if I'm actually gonna take it because I'm still sore and I'm kind of tired and I have to go to this Barry's class later. Like that I cannot back out of. So we'll see what I do and how much editing I get done. I think that's that will be the deciding factor because I'm pretty sure I'm going out tonight. I have work tomorrow and then I'm hanging out with the guy that I've been seeing in the afternoon. So I won't really have time to edit then. And then the vlog goes up on Sunday. So we shall see what happens. <laughs> but now time to edit. Guys, I've officially been sitting at Bryan Park for I think three hours. It's about 1.30 got the entire rough cut up to this point edited of the vlog. So we were very productive. I've decided, obviously since it's 1.30, I'm not going to Yasmin's class because I just, for my own mental well-being and sanity, we're just not gonna do that to ourselves. Um, but I'm gonna go get some lunch. And guess who joined me because she was right by here at the library. Katie. If you didn't watch, she was in a vlog, I think two weeks ago. She was my high school roommate down in North Carolina. 
Um, and now she lives in the city too. So I love that we can just like hang out in the afternoon. It's so perfect. So nice little treat of the day, but enjoying the beautiful weather. It's a gorgeous day at Bryant Park. So many people enjoying the weather as well. Back at Lincoln Center on the dog walk. Guys, they finished. Three days, all cleaned up. Zoe, are you ready to have our spot to run around again? Hey Zoe, what do you think? She does not care at all. I can't wait to be able to run around. <laughs> City biking my way down to Chelsea because it's Barry's boot camp time and friends, I am slightly scared. We shall see how it goes. I don't know if I'll bring my phone in because I don't know if that's allowed. I want to kind of film a little bit because I'm really curious as to what it is, but we shall see. I'll definitely at least update you afterwards. Oh my god my entire outfit is soaking wet with sweat right now that was absolute insanity definitely like orange theory better oh my god the night has taken a turn friends i'm for sure not going out i mean i decided that before i even went to barry's but I'm eating dinner, which consists of leftover chicken, leftover quinoa, mushrooms that I sauteed, and then this bomb salsa from this restaurant that I went to, I don't know, one night this week. I think Sunday night, actually. But it really is bringing all the flavors together so nicely. Um. But I think I'm actually gonna take a bath tonight because otherwise I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk tomorrow because I'm already so sore. That class was insane. I think what I'm realizing, Barry's is much more like, I see why people like it because the energy is so like, go, 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 go. But what I don't like about it is that there wasn't really any like correcting of form and I saw a lot of bad form on that floor and it's like people are gonna injure themselves. So I think that's one of the things that Orange Theory is really good for people who are beginners, especially because it's just like a little more slower paced. Like you're still getting a good workout, obviously, but it's more focused on form and like making sure you're staying safe and doing a workout that's good for you and not just trying to like work yourself as hard as possible so you throw up at the end. So I see the value of berries, but I'm gonna stick with Orange Theory. That being said, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna take a nice chill bath, and then we gotta get up and coach in the morning. So I'll see you guys then. Happy Saturday, friends. Just finished coaching at Orange Theory, and one of my members, I love her, she brought bagels, so I get to bring bagels home because not everyone ate them all. <laughs> Um, gonna hop on a city bike and go walk the doggo. Hey Zoe. Hello. <laughs> no, don't drink my coffee. <laughs> we just ran some laps. I know. I'm sorry, I don't have water for you. <laughs> on our walk, enjoying the day. It is a busy day at Lincoln Center. There's definitely a ballet happening. Where are you going, Zoe? Oh. <laughs> she finds anyone who gives her attention. That's okay. I, I have a little at home, so she makes So cute. Just goes up to literally everyone. This dog. Back from the doggy walk. Zoe was so cute today. Um, this is where I'm going to end the vlog for the week because now I'm going to go spend the afternoon with the guy that I've been seeing. Uh, so this is the fit. Keeping it casual. It is finally full on sweater weather. Sweat. Oh my God. Sweater weather. <laughs> so I am happy. I'm gonna go hang out downtown. Have some fun. Enjoy the afternoon. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. 
as always, stay safe and sane, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.